So, as you saw from the last video, I have been exploring RuneScape as an initiate peer, and I finished up a lot of the pre-Zerker progress that I needed to do to get my account all set up for PKing and Slayer. I did Fairy Tale Part 1, and only realized that I had to start Part 2 to get access to the Fairy Rings, so I kind of got my Herblower up for no reason, but at the same time, this kind of propels me and kind of instigates me to try to get 70 Herblower so that I can ID every unit, and this would actually be pretty good money in the short term until I get a higher Slayer level so I can get some good drops. After that, I took the advice of someone who left a comment about In Search of Myker, and I got the Barrow shortcut without having actually to hand in the quest. You know, this means that I can remain 20 defense as opposed to getting 21 defense uh, for the duration of me being an initiate peer. And you guys can look forward to me actually having a perfect account for once as opposed to having a failed 2-dev hacker peer, and uh, I can be good in my bracket. Uh, the nice thing about this is that I'm literally one step away from handing in and completing the entire quest. And that means that when I'm actually ready to become a Zerker, I can just hand in that quest and get a free two quest points and put me closer to 176, which is the magic number I need. So the last thing I did to perfect my setup for the future for you guys is trick out my house. I got 50 construction now, and I've set up all three portal rooms with every location, including a prayer altar and a glory on the wall. And, you know, that cost a little bit of money, about 1.5 mil, to get uh, 33 to 50 construction and set up all the rooms. But it was a well well worth the investment. By the way, I saw a comment the other day uh, asking how many Mountain Dews did you go through to do all the progress you did in the last video. And I gotta say, Mountain Dew, although very good, is not my beverage of choice. I kind of switch off between orange soda, Coca-Cola, and Pepsi. Although Coke, in my opinion, is better than Pepsi. I took the Coke Pepsi challenge when I was about 11 or 12 years old, and I was at a, a street fair when I when I took the challenge. And you know, obviously, when you get to the challenge, they ask you to, you know, take a sip out of a little mystery cup, and take a sip out of the other mystery cup. And I ended up choosing Coca-Cola. And the people who were given the Pepsi Coke challenge, or the Pepsi challenge, just looked at me funny, and they're like. Yeah, we don't want you to write any kind of feedback. Just get the fuck out of here. Anyway, um, guys, I already started Slayer, and my efficiency is pretty much doubled since I can teleport to my house and have access to almost everywhere in RuneScape. I don't have to waste any glory chargers or keep any elemental runes or teleport tabs in my inventory, so it's been pretty, pretty quick getting through these Slayer tasks. You know, since I'm pretty low combat, the edge teleport is really helpful since I can just quickly go to Vanica, just teleport to my house, go click on the glory or rub the glory, rub the wall, and get to Vanica pretty quickly, and I could bang out these uh, Slayer tasks pretty pretty quick, honestly. And also, the Fairy Ring in Edgeville is one of the closest rings to a bank, so I go there instead of physically running to Xanaris. So all of this begs the question, Matt, what do you have left before you become a Zerk? I kind of want to see you do Venge and have the torso and the fire cape and just flick that whip and get massive KOs and maybe smite out a few whips. Well, the answer really is, I don't got anything left to do. And to be honest with you guys, before I become a Zerker, I really, really want to get my strength up a bit and do more Slayer. I want to get 75 Slayer and 90 Strength before I become a Zerker. And I set those goals in my head because, you know, when I become a Zerker, Slayer is going to get a lot easier. And, you know, I don't want to be a Zerker with low Strength. I want to have a pretty nice Strength level so that not too far off from hitting a max hit. And then the Venge combos can be really sick. Um, and then get some really nice DDS specs as well. Uh, and then also that sets me up to be a mid-level Brid. i got a lot of friends that I've been talking to that really want to do some Team PKing near Mage Bank and also near Portals. And, you know, I have never explored this style of PKing before. I was always too scared to go to Mage Bank when I was a lot younger, back in 06, 07. I was, uh, you know, I was relatively younger and, uh... I always thought the adults went to Mage Bank. Now that I'm a young adult, I feel like it's time to go to Mage Bank. And um, on top of that, when I do Lunar, that's actually going to set me up to be a really good for Slayer and to be the most efficient as possible with the way your account is set up and your house is set up and the ability you have with NPC Contact. You know, NPC Contact is obviously a spell that you get after you complete Lunar Diplomacy and you're on Lunar Magics. And being able to not have to go to particular Slayer Masters and just do the spell to get a new task or drop a task and get a new task 
It's really going to be awesome. And that segues me to my final topic for today, and that is, Matt, what are you going to be doing for the summer? In particular, are you going to be live streaming more? And the answer to that is yes. Um, I want to do Power Slayer. And I know that sounds very generic, but I want to get my Slayer up to at least level 85. And by the time I get 85 Slayer, I'll actually have really solid strength level and a solid attack level. And I'll be a really solid Zerk at that point. And um, using a cannon and other things like that, I'll actually have higher ranged and I'll probably do ranged for some of the tasks and it also gives me a little bit of diversity for my streams on top of that I'm gonna be doing more PK and I've actually set up a good system for myself so that I can PK on a live stream and not really have to worry about too much uh, at least from a uh, connection standpoint um, but yeah that's about it for today I'm gonna to go into more details about the future of my content including some other uh, things I would like to talk to you guys about uh, but that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a nice like. It really means a lot to me. And also leave a comment down below on any suggestions or any questions you have. Until next time, have a good one, guys. And peace out.